All right, guys, welcome back to Three Pound Fishing. We are going to be fishing midday crappie spawn. So we're going to be doing a little bit of everything. We've got a slightly bluebird day, a uh, little chop on the water. Water temperatures are finally reaching 70 degrees. So this is a great episode because A, most people don't fish midday with the sun high like this, but we're going to do it. We're going to see fish up shallow. We're going to see fish on brush piles and then we're also going to see hopefully some fish that are in the middle of creek channels that we can uh just absolutely scope so i'm i'm loaded look at this i've got the king's tail i got three of them i've got my uh hammer and i have the savage all these rods are available at threepoundfishing.com can't say enough good things the king's tail is the spawning killer man it's freaking awesome but we're gonna go through all those we're gonna catch fish different techniques midday Let's get it! We've got a nice little patch of shade here. And I will target shade when the sun's up. Uh, these fish are constantly looking for protection. And we have got ourselves a fish. And that's what they're doing. The summer, uh, I'm sorry, during the spawn, what they're going to do is they're going to they're gonna constantly look for protection. The weed edge, the docks, the shade. Nice fish there. And that is a great target for midday. And again, using the eight footer, it just makes it that e much easier. Now I'm a big fan of the 10 footer, but at the same time, if I can get away with a light little eight footer uh, for the spawn where I'm gonna do a majority of my fishing like this up against the, the, the shoreline, let me tell you, you just can't go wrong. Nice black crappie coming in. Ugh. There you go, guys. Beautiful black crappie. Look at that tuxedo, man. Just really darkened up. And again, getting that color because they're exposing themselves to the sunlight, getting up there really shallow. And just a beautiful, beautiful fish. Well, we're going to let it go. Beautiful, beautiful. So a lot of different tactics you can use during the spawn, especially midday. So we've caught some up shallow now, caught about three. Could stay here and probably honestly probably catch a, a limit with that eight foot king's tail. Awesome. Uh, but what we're, we're gonna do right now is we're gonna check a couple piles out too and I'm gonna show you that they're on the piles just as well. So we're gonna break out the hammer and we're gonna walk you right through the process of what you can do during midday during the spawn. There we go. Hammer, hammer's got it baby. Very quick hook set, very quick hook set with the hammer. There's no give. Little bitty guy, another, another good little eating size here. And we're just flipping out here, keeping them about 24 feet out. And there is, as you can see, just a bunch of fish on piles, even during the spawn. We're having to play them just a little bit, I think, because of the mid midday deal, but we might get this guy here too. Nope, he's gonna peel away. Sweet. All right, guys. <laughs> Lost my hat, so we got a knit hat on now, sock hat on. Um, so there you go. There's a black crappie, tuxedo, and everything. Um, and we are sitting out here in roughly 22 degree, 22 feet of water. Same black tuxedo, same fish that we caught up shallow. Isn't that interesting? I think it's totally interesting. So, you know, my speculation is that. When the sun goes up, a lot of these fish will come back out, the ones that aren't gonna stay there on the weed edge. It's other, uh, it actually also tells you that they will spawn anywhere. So the, you know, the idea that they only spawn up shallow, not true at all, they spawn everywhere. Uh, I think their first choice is probably up shallow, but certainly they spawn at every depth you can imagine. So I think I'm gonna try to catch one or two more fish on this pile here, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna fish the creek channel. 
and I'm gonna show you that they're out there as well. Now the bait I'm using is the all white hair jig right now. I don't know if it truly matters, but if you're interested in these hair jigs, there's a very nice 132nd ounce combo pack on the website 3poundfishing.com. I'm also using my new favorite braid in the world, which is the Comet. Um, I still think there's a great place for uh, Optimal, but Comet <coughs> is the ticket for me right now. This is why it's so important to have the different rods all set up. So now I run up in a shallow, because the pile brought me up shallow, and I see a bunch of fish hanging out shallow. So I can adjust by doing that. It's really simple. Have a, have a king's tail in your boat and a hammer and you get to do it all. And that's why I'm always big on having all the multiple, all the different rods in there because during the spawn, it just can change on a, I mean, just on a dime. Look at that. Just being able to switch up, you know, tech techniques using one of the three and bam, we get another fish. We're originally fishing piles. Boom, you see them up shallow. Take advantage of it. Grab your king's tail. Right there, guys. Beautiful, beautiful rod. Hmm. Close up to the boat. Another fish. Just having the flexibility to change. That might be our best one right there. We got some spots for the guide trips now. There's no doubt about that. Guys, if you're interested in guide trips, yes, they're still going on. Yes, they've been going crazy good. Record numbers, it's been incredible. Uh, but we do have availability in May. We still got dates open in May. So if you're interested, you guys can um, call me at 3poundfishing at gmail.com or call me at 618-694. Ooh, we just missed one there. 6945162 Anytime you find structure up close to the spawning areas aka shallow even, even though we've talked about that's not the only place they they spawn um, usually it's usually a good place to try so shallow shallow structure Went back to the king's tail, guys, and caught one up shallow. Slab. Look at these guys. Structure up shallow. Good mixture. So I'm out there looking for singles, and I run into this. All I do is quickly switch to my king's tail rod again. Boom, just caught another one. Maybe one more, let's see. Boom. Three in a row. King's tail, guys, check it out. And all three of these techniques, even though we really didn't get one singled out there, are incredible opportunities. I can't say it enough. The spawn is just an opportunity to do a lot of different things. And the King's Tail, available at Three Pound Fishing, is an awesome eight footer, so check it out. Uh, there is a six footer coming, there is a 10 footer coming that's gonna be built off the same platform. Um, just super slick, super quick, and light. So, sniping, uh, sniping braid, the Comet, that's what I've been using. It's incredible, love it. Can't say enough good things about it. Um, and then, the three pound fishing 132nd ounce jig heads has been my go-to well ever since i started three pound fishing to be quite honest with you so check those out but we did use the hair jigs and i can tell you that i'm a big fan of the hair jigs so look at those combo packs and that's just awesome good deals for hair jigs take it easy guys appreciate you take it easy